Hey, here we are uh, collecting information out in the field with Freons Mobile for BlackBerry devices. We're going to do a little work on a fire hydrant today for a water utility. So let's, uh, there's the fire hydrant. Let's zoom into the BlackBerry. And uh, we just got a standard BlackBerry here. Freons Mobile works on all the different uh, BlackBerry platforms, whether it's this new touch screen or an older keyboard device. We're going to go into the Freons Mobile application. We're looking at a live ArcGIS server application. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, search on this feature because I want to zoom to it. And I know that my address here is uh, 3055 uh, Kettering Boulevard. I'm going to be lazy. I don't want to spell out the whole thing. It'll go ahead and search my live database and bring up the results. Well, let's just go to all those results, zoom to those, and uh, it's going to go ahead and zoom down where we are hopefully, and let, well, let's double check. Let's turn on our GPS and show where we are, and it's going to find the satellites from the BlackBerry device and go ahead and throw in a red target. But in the meantime, uh, let's go ahead and zoom in a little, and let's, uh, there's my GPS location. Let's go ahead and turn on our, our layers. Let's turn on the water system so we can uh, see this fire hydrant and uh, we'll zoom in a little more and uh, there's our GPS right next to that fire hydrant. Let me go ahead and zoom in here and uh, let's look at some information on that. Let's identify that fire hydrant and uh, look at the information make sure we should be at the right one and uh, once again live data coming from the ArcGIS server all the attribute information displayed as we need it displayed we've even got a hot link to an as built let's go over here and bring this up in the browser a uh, big 7 meg file and we're not on Wi-Fi we're on 3G here but that comes up pretty quickly let's go back to the map that's gonna take 15 seconds to load or so but let's go back to the map because I I want to do some more functionality. Let's pop out of that. And really what I want to do is let's turn on aerial photos. Just to see that we've got aerial photos that will come up. And uh, once that's done, I am going to actually go in here and believe it or not, do a live edit on this feature because I need to change some attributes. Now that I'm looking at this, we're going to edit the hydrant layer. Once again, just the layers we want to edit are available. We'll go ahead and select, not create a new feature, but select a feature. We'll go ahead and select that. I can select it with my cursor or my finger, either one on this touch device. And uh, let's go ahead and now that that's selected, let's edit. Do, I got the options. I could delete it. I could move it. But let's, let's edit that data, that feature, and there's all my attributes that come up that I can edit that thing. I've even got some pull downs that come from the domain. Maybe that's really a two inch. Uh, maybe I want to come in here and see if I have a field for notes and say that was done by uh, CJB. Let's go ahead and save that information. And that's writing live to the ArcGIS server. If I want to come back and, and let's do this, let's go back and look at that as built. And uh, we've got the full as built right on the Blackberry. And uh, as we zoom in, we get better resolution. Let's wait a minute here. And we're right down here. And so this is great. We can edit live ArcGIS server, bring up aerial photos, look at as built, edit the feature right there, all on my Blackberry, live to my ArcGIS server with Freonce Mobile.